Roses are flowering shrubs in the genus Rosa, within the family Rosaceae. They are prized for their beauty and have been cultivated for thousands of years for use in gardens and has cut flowers. There are many species and cultivars of roses, with a range of colors and fragrances. Some species are used for their hips, which are rich in vitamin C, while others are grown for their essential oils used in perfumes. Roses have been symbolic in many cultures and have been used to convey messages of love, passion, and gratitude. Yellow roses are a popular variety of roses known for their bright and cheerful yellow blooms. They symbolize friendship, joy, and optimism, making them a popular choice for gifts and special occasions. Yellow roses can vary in shade from pale lemon to deep gold, and some varieties may have a hint of green or orange. Yellow roses are available in a range of forms. They can range in size from compact miniatures to large climbers. Yellow roses are easy to grow and care for, and they are a popular choice for gardeners and floral designers alike. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can grow roses from flower buds and cuttings. So let's get started. To grow yellow roses from flower buds, you will need to follow these steps. Choose a suitable location. Yellow roses prefer a sunny spot with well-drained soil. Make sure the location you choose has at least six hours of direct sunlight every day. Obtain a healthy plant. You can purchase a yellow rose plant from a garden center or online nursery. Look for a plant that has healthy green foliage and a sturdy stem. Prepare the soil. Dig a hole large enough to accommodate the roots of the plant and amend the soil with compost or other organic matter to improve its fertility and structure. Plant the rose. Place the rose in the hole and fill in the soil around it tamping it down gently to remove any air pockets. Water the plant well. Provide proper care. Roses need regular watering, especially during dry periods. Keep the soil evenly moist, but not waterlogged. In addition, fertilize the plant regularly with a balanced fertilizer to support its growth. Prune regularly. Pruning helps to promote bushier growth, prevent disease, and encourage the formation of more flowers. Cut back any dead or damaged stems and remove any faded blooms. Watch for pests and diseases. Keep an eye out for pests like aphids and spider mites and treat them promptly if you see them. Keep the foliage dry and avoid overhead watering to prevent fungal diseases. By following these steps, you should be able to successfully grow yellow roses from flower buds. Remember that growing roses takes time and patience but with proper care, you'll be rewarded with a beautiful yellow rose bush in bloom. Once the yellow roses have been planted, you will need to provide proper care and attention to help them thrive. Watering. Make sure to water the roses deeply and regularly, especially during dry spells. Be careful not to overwater, which can lead to root rot. You may need to provide support for the roses, especially if they are tall or heavy with blooms. Use a sturdy stake or a trellis to help keep the roses upright. Pest control. Regularly check the roses for signs of pest damage, such as holes in the leaves or yellowing foliage. Use organic or chemical methods to control pests, if necessary. There's an open secret about roses. They're not only easy to propagate, but making more of these plants is one of the best, most magical parts of having them around. You could sprout the seeds, but growing roses from cuttings is the easiest way to reproduce your favorite varieties. There are several practical reasons to propagate roses from cuttings. If you have a variety that does especially well in your garden, rooting a few cuttings from that rose provides an inexpensive way to increase your collection or you may want to create backups of a rare variety or a family heirloom rose. Homegrown rose cuttings are also great for swapping with other gardeners. 
Here's how to grow roses from cuttings successfully, broken down into 10 simple steps. Best time to take rose cuttings. You can successfully root rose cuttings any time of the year, but for more consistent results, check the weather forecast. Plan to take your cutting when daytime temperatures are above 55 degrees Fahrenheit and below 90. The ideal is between 70 and 80. That will probably be in spring and fall. It's also best to take cuttings early in the morning. What you'll need. Sharp pruners, scissors, or knife. Disinfect with rubbing alcohol or Lysol. A 2.5 to 5 inch deep pot that drains well. Also check out our quality garden tool set, which will help you out in your gardening. Link is given in the description. Do check out a 50 50 mix of perlite and potting soil. The mix should be sterile and hold roughly an equal amount of air and moisture. Overall, rose growing from cuttings is a simple process. Whenever you prune your rose plants or cut off the faded flowers, the balance of hormones in the removed stem changes. Under the right conditions, the changes stimulate it to grow roots. The resulting plant is identical to the parent. Water the day before. Healthy, well-hydrated roses root better, along with making sure to keep the parent plants in good shape through the growing season. Water them the day before taking cuttings. Choose stems immediately below flower buds that are just about to open. The second best option is stems beneath flowers that have begun to drop their petals. Aim for cuttings that are 4 to 8 inches long with 3 to 5 nodes, the regular intervals where buds, leaves, and stems emerge. The cut at the base should be about a quarter of an inch below a node, and the cut at the top should be about a quarter inch above one. Bonus tip! Heel wood often roots more easily. It's located at the base of a stem right where it emerges from another stem. Try pulling your stem straight out from where it attaches, or cut slightly into the older shoot with a sharp knife. Immediately put your cuttings into a container of water out of direct sunlight, or wrap cuttings in damp paper towels and place them in a cooler. Rooting is part of a wound response for roses. Encourage increased rooting by vertically slicing through the green skin on the bottom inch of the cutting. Do these two to four times spaced roughly equally, or you can gently scrape a strip or two of the green skin on the bottom inch, just don't remove the skin all the way around the stem. If the variety has large prickles, ripping them from the base also wounds the stem enough to encourage roots to develop. Cut off the flower bud or spent flower and all but the top leaf or two. Reduce the top leaves to three or four leaflets total. Slice the bud from the lowest node to encourage roots to grow. Stick your rose cuttings about two inches into a container of potting mix. Press the mix around the stem and water thoroughly. Rooting can happen within a couple of weeks, but expect it to take a month or two. When you start to see roots from the side or bottom of the pot and new leaf growth, you can begin to acclimate the new roses outside of the humidity cover. If you rooted several in a single pot, you should carefully repot them into individual containers. Give your rooted rose cuttings 9 to 12 months to develop enough to plant in your garden. During that time, you may want to move them to a slightly larger pot with a 20 to 80 mix of perlite and potting soil with slow-release fertilizer to fuel new growth. Tips for propagating roses from cuttings. Growing roses from cuttings may start to sound complicated, but remember that these are just guidelines to get more consistent results. It's possible to stick a rose cutting directly into your soil and come back to find it rooted months later. In conclusion, yellow roses are a popular and beloved variety of roses known for their bright yellow blooms. Growing yellow roses from cuttings or from flower buds is a simple and effective way to propagate new plants. With proper care, including regular watering, fertilizing, pest control, and disease prevention, your yellow roses will thrive and produce beautiful blooms. We hope you found this information helpful in your gardening journey. If you're interested in growing more plants, 
we recommend checking out our next video on how to grow bitter melon on a terrace. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more gardening tips and tricks. Happy gardening!